I was a college coach right now, God willing, Division I college coach, I would have a fundraiser uh, amongst the boosters, and I would have the best players on my squad. Uh, if I was Cincinnati, if I were, um, ACC has money. So if you're an ACC and you have, there should be an allotment of money. And part of it should be, you can get your degree. It's a great place to live. You have an opportunity to play all four years in your position. I'm not going to recruit over you, and I'm going to pay you this much a year. Mm -hmm. Those are your decisions now. My father didn't give me money until my junior year, end of my junior year. I had, we had just lost to Georgetown, and I went home, and I said, uh, I, need, I need a car. And I went and negotiated my Peugeot, and he sent me 36 $3,600 to put down, and it was $365, $364 a month, and $125 a month for insurance. Mm -hmm. That's all without no gas. There's no gas. No, he didn't give me a gas amount. So my pops looked at it this way. I'm going to give this kid $8,000. I told people, when I go pro, the first person I'm taking care of is my father, and sure enough, he had the biggest Lincoln with everything on it. <laughs> I mean, it was, it had the leather top, it had the big blue, it had the cushioned seats, it had the curb finders, it had the spokes. It, I got him a car that when you saw it, you didn't know if it was a pimp or a politician. Like I, 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 want, <laughs> I wanted Quilly to have it. And my brother Jerry drove it back and was like, Johnny said, you know, he loves you. And he was like, this is mine. Like that, that is what I got. Mm. And I was able to do because my pops was able to figure out a way to give me $8,000, but he could not do it. He f couldn't do it my first, second, third year. He barely, when I found out, was able to do it then. So that, that shouldn't have been because we were sold out. We were playing on TV every weekend. Um, when I played against Virginia, in my first year, we, I think the school made $2 million. Television alone in Division I sports pays for Division II and Division Three. okay? The, our, the money that's made in Division I pays for everybody else's sports. Right, most, uh, you know, when you look at the big coaches in college, they often get more than professional coaches, Yeah, right? they did, so imagine. The sneaker deal is the coach's deal, not mm -hmm. the school's deal. Yeah. Um, the coach are make, is making 750. Calipari, my God bless him, uh, is making um, pro money. Well, he's turning out pros too. He's doing such a great job and he's a great negotiator and a great coach. But down in Kentucky, he's making hand over fist. And he's making all this money, shaping the mind of these young men and these young men are not making any money while shaping. Right, I actually looked it up. Coach K mm -hmm. has a net worth of 45 million. Yeah. Which makes him one of the richest coaches in history, period. Period. Yeah. And he is a college coach. College coach. He never played for, a, he never coached for a pro team ever, right? Why would he? Why would he? He was Olympic coach. <laughs> right. It would be the dumbest thing, like, <laughs> Kobe said, if I would have gone to college, I wish I could have played for Coach K. Every, I get it. Right. But they're making all the money off the talents of these players. And they go, well, they're coaching them. They're not coaching them to be great. They were already great when they recruited them. Right. And, and to be fair, a college coach, I feel, has a tougher job than a professional coach right. because the roster is rotating every single year well, so severely. Is the, so is the pros. So is the pros. Now, I don't think on the same level, though. Yeah, because you're gonna have your nucleus of three players. Sometimes. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. like you could have a Michael Jordan played for the Bulls for how many years? Shit, twelve. Well, 1984 right. to 2000. So, so un unless yeah. you keep flunking out year after year in college, <laughs> like right. you know what I mean, right. which isn't even possible because you can't play if you have bad grades. So, so that's what I'm saying. Like, well, that's not true either. It depends <laughs> on the school, right? Well, what I'm saying is, you you ma you have. Your superstar player, you have them a maximum of four years. Right. And usually, if they're a superstar, they're out within a year or two. They, max. Right. And, they, and they're moving it 
they're moving the needle and the money for that school. Mm-hmm. That I know, like they say, uh, Clemson's a football school. They play they play six games at home and they're a football school. Mm-hmm. That's amazing and the stadium. But the money that they generate pays for everything, and the players that are playing. That everybody is wearing the jersey with the name on, with the number on it. That's why they don't put the name on the back. They only put the number because, uh, as David Stern once said, the name on the front is way more important than the name on the back. Mm. So they're selling those jerseys with those numbers on it, and those hats, and those and those little stickers on the face, and the and the, uh, what are those things called the um, pendants, and all of that is tons of money. Tons of money. All of those things are tons of money that they're never, ever, ever going to give to the player. And that's unfair. 